Hello, uh, it's Ben. Uh, I am going to be feeding uh, my largest beetle, Sir Grubs a lot. Uh, they're a larva. And I was gonna give them Christmas dinner on Christmas, but it turns out uh, they celebrate solstice. So we're gonna do this today on the 21st. So right here is a container. And you can just see them right there. Eh, that's a little white grub. So we're gonna dump that into here, uh, kind of clean this out, and then I'm gonna replace it with the soil that's in here. I could just put them in this container, but I don't like how you can't see through it as well. I don't know how much that shows up on camera, but um, this one's more opaque. This one's more transparent. Okay, so here we go. Uh, oh, also, I'm going to do a little weigh, weigh in. Uh, I like to weigh the beetles. See, let's get this little scale. Uh, put that here. And we scoot this a little bit. Okay, looks stable. Turn that on. Okay, so I've got a little plan together for how I'm going to do this. I don't like to really disturb them a lot. So if I'm doing this, I want to be quick about it. And I've, you might be wondering why I got the shipping tape around there and that's because these guys like to get out. You can see here, um, she already carved a hole. I think it's a she, you can't really sex them as larva very well, um, but you would be able to see a, um, like a male sex organ starting to form and I've never seen evidence of that. So we're gonna do this um, and then Ooh, there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of scooch this so that we don't lose her. She's pretty big, so I don't want her to get injured and fall. Okay. So uh, you can see her here. She's pretty large. Uh, I'm gonna go see if I can knock this out. And uh, if you do ever have to touch them, uh, you just want to be quick and gentle. Uh, but I like to have this plastic spoon uh, for handling, especially the littler ones. It'll be too small. First, it rubs a lot. Okay, so here's the fresh substrate. I'm gonna put that in. Um, and you can see they're just chilling out in the container there. You kind of see them. They don't do much. Um, so the thing about, uh, this is a Western Hercules beetle, um, Dynast Dynasties grantii. They are the largest uh, American beetle in the United States. Uh, uh, so, um, the thing about rhinoceros beetles, they're a type of rhinoceros beetle, um, is that they are actually pretty hard skinned for a larva. So um, what you wanna do is pack this in really good. Um, you pretty much can't overpack it because they um, eat a lot and they're just gonna dig through there and you want it to have, you want it to be dense enough that um, when they chew through some of it, it doesn't settle down in, into nothing. Um, so I have this idea, and I think that I have underestimated her size a little. I was going to use this cup, but it's too small. I'm going to get a bigger one. Just a measuring cup. And what I want to do is sort of press that in there so that I can put some substrate around, and I'm making a mess. I'm trying to be quick. I feel like if I was a larva, I'd be freaking out. So I'm trying not to stress them out too much, being above ground. This soil is um, oak flake, which has a little bit of 
fermentation to it. Um, it smells nice and kind of topsoily, but like, um, it's not really soil. It's, it's pieces of oak flaked down and like I said, a little bit fermented. They like that. So now I've got a little divot and that's where I'm going to put Sir Grubbs a lot after she gets weighed. I'm going to weigh her first. Okay. Now, like I said, rhino beetles are really thick skinned. So little beetles, you have to be real delicate with, but she's pretty thick skinned. Uh, I can hardly move her. She's very muscular. Um, look at her face. She's got like a little bug pinchers. She's like, meh, 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 meh. see her? Anyways, uh, so we're gonna put her here. And okay, so she has gained a little bit. That's not a lot of weight, but if she's been pretty inactive lately. So I'm gonna just tuck her in at the top. And then I'm gonna put more fresh substrate in here. Um, just over top of her. Now, I don't want to pack her in, which is why I kind of placed her near the top. Um, now, rhino beetle's pretty sturdy. I don't think you'd hurt it. Um, but there's just no reason to squish them. Um, so there we go. There's Yuletide Feast. Let's see if we got enough. I may have to replace this shipping tape. So hopefully, happy beetle larva. So that's it. Uh, happy Yuletide to uh, you and whatever holidays you celebrate. Um, here's my little beetle. And there's the old soil. Okay, bye.